first of all i want to tell you the main purpose of making this video the main reason for making this video is the current situation of covid 19 which is creating lot of challenges for teachers and students as everything is locked down schools are no longer open for conventional teaching learning process so how to teach is a great challenge for our teachers and so for our students to learn so at this scenario i want this video for our teachers who don't have basic knowledge of technology so through this video i will teach basic concepts and i will tell them how they can impart their education to their students i will tell how to give classes from home for that you have to think how do you deliver your lecture in your school so the simple way is you prepare content for them after preparing the content you arrange the content in the form of a lesson plan and when the lesson plan is ready you go to your class and you deliver the lecture after delivering the lecture you may also give assignments to a student and then you come back later you may collect assignments you check the assignment and then you give feedback to students this is the way you teach in your regular classes similarly here also my dear friends you have to follow the same procedure first you have to create or search learning objects for your topic for which you are going to deliver a lecture so how to find or search that it could be done through some platforms available online as open educational resources as far as creation of this content is concerned at this time it is difficult for you to create your own learning objects so leave it here this creation but you have to find learning objects for your subject matter here after searching and finalizing your subject matter is ready now you have to deliver it to students so how you are going to deliver you are not going to your regular classes so here you have to find some tool communicating tools through which you can deliver your lecture or content so how you are going to do it so this simply the simple way is as you are doing sharing materials or wishes with your friends and family through social websites and chat messengers like you can say whatsapp telegram google meet or zoom so these are the tools through which you can share your material to your students so there are two two kind of tools one through which you can have live interaction like google meet and uh, zoom and there are tools which are not live like telegram or whatsapp so it's your choice suppose you want to share materials from whatsapp so it's an easy way but if you want interaction you can use google meet so it's your choice and convenience after that when you deliver your, your material to the students then what is left so you have to prepare assignments you have to give them e-test so it should be done electronically so there are some tools for it so you it means you have to find some tools for creation of assignment in e-test so these are available online so you can go for that like google form is there google doc is also there so there are many like this Kahoot is also there. It's very good. Quizlet is there. So you can make uh, these, uh, you can use these tools and you can make e-assessment test and you can give them online and through online they will submit the e-test and you will get the instant feedback and the students also will get instant feedback. So in this way, this learning process will complete the outcomes of this session. After completing this session, students will be able to 
find various online applications and resources. They will also get information about initiatives taken by MHRD Government of India. They will also get knowledge of communication tools available at their disposal. And at last, they will develop a skill through which they can teach online. Now, the overview of the presentation is like this. We, it is divided in different activities. So there are total seven act activities in this presentation. So first is the concept of e-learning and e-learning application and resources. So as you all know that e-learning refers to technology driven learning enabled by internet. And e-learning applications and resources refer to application softwares which are available in your devices and they facilitate learning and they are learning management systems also which connect learner with their school or institution. So first if we go through this uh, Google Play and if you browse Google Play and we type uh, educational apps then we will find like this. We will find this apps like Diksha platform like this school planner, Baiju's, the learning app, Khan Academy. So we'll find all of these. So there are number of apps you will find and it's difficult to classify these apps. It is for the researchers to classify these app because it is not yet classified so far. So I hope one day the classification will go on. And now I will discuss the some of the main apps which are used by many learners and these are really very important. So what is the purpose and features of this app I will discuss. The first is edX. This is very popular uh, app among users and they use this app because it's very free and it starts from primary level to uh, higher level. Then Khan Academy, this is free also and this is very good, uh, you know, platform. It is based on Android system. You can get apps in your phone. So they are have, having different app for primary section and for high section. So these are free courses and very effective. And there are other courses also which are really very good. For example, Kahoot is very good uh, game based app and it can be used to teach students by juice vedantu an academy mit courseware these are really very important for us to go through it duolingo is an app which could be used for learning many languages there are apps like coursera and udemy these are for those who want to learn online courses so some of them are free and some of are on paid basis so these are really very important so we cannot classify them as I told you already but we can say that some are applications are for subject wise like mathematics English some apps are for primary section higher section and like that so these are like that now I'll discuss with you the initiatives taken by the government Ministry of Human Resource Development the some first action, the first project is SWAM. And this SWAM project is, you know, one of the best things happened to Indian education. And this, uh, with this SWAM, there are 140 universities which are giving credit approval or transfer for students. It means students can learn online and get credits and then through their universities, they can get it on their report card so in this way they can learn so 20% they can learn online and 80% as uh, in their USD uh, in conventional method so these are courses for all learners so there are registrations going on you can register yourself in this portal and you can join and you can do the course and you also can get certificates now 
there are some courses which were already hosted in this platform and now the government has taken this initiative due to COVID-19 that they are available in this this link so if you open this link you will find those courses which had already taken place in SWAM portal here you don't have to register yourself then next comes UG and PG MOOCs platform this is a new initiative now taken recently to facilitate learning of these students at home due to COVID-19 pandemic so they created one link through this link you can get many courses to learn at home so I will show this uh, to you uh, through browsing and I hope that it will be worthy for you to understand so uh, let me uh, open that platform yes so I am showing you through browser yeah I hope you may be able to see it now so this is the UGC MOOC browser in which uh, many courses are available so now see this PG courses 133 UG courses 232 so there's number of courses here so you have you can choose any of the courses why I'm telling these courses because if you want to create your own uh, own uh, learning uh, learning objects so it will be difficult for you so some of the modules are already available for you and for your students so you can uh, give the link to them and you can say to them that they can learn from these modules which are already there so they are as open resource open educational resources so they can learn it from it from there so now I am just opening this uh, course communication technology in education this is very important for you people you just go through it and you will find many courses which is related to to you so that you can uh, teach online so suppose if I click here then I will go to another page and this page shows that communication technologies is a subject and it has some modules if I click here uh, you may not be able to this drop down menu here but I am able to see it so I am able to see that there are many course there are many modules uh, theoretical as well as practical so uh, I will tell you listen carefully these modules are related to current trends in e-learning on e-learning concept of e-learning mobile learning open educational resources which I already explained to you then learning management systems then Moodle features and application MOOC features and applications so why I'm discussing with you these are, are very important now I'm going to open uh, one of the links here uh, I will open this Moodle features and applications so I hope you are going to see it here so it contains two items one is e-text so the 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 material the module is in the form of e-text and then you can download it very easily you can print also so this is the module for uh, Moodle features and applications so what is Moodle I will discuss it later but uh, as if in a nutshell I can say it's a learning management system through which you can control your curriculum so now this app sorry this learning management system is very effective for you and the e-content is available here now you go through it and then you will uh, know more about it then this self learning is also there through self learning they provide videos through videos they will uh, explain you this uh, this uh, LMS so see here it is like this you heard it correctly it is called Moodle and it is spelt with an M and not an N. The Moodle is an extremely beneficial e-learning platform that helps teachers and students alike. The Moodle is an example of a learning management system or LMS which helps teachers immensely. Let us dive in into this 
module. Moodle is an acronym for Modular Object Oriented Dynamic Learning Environment and is a free software so, e-learning. In this way, you will find that Moodle is a learning management system and through this you can control your curriculum and you must go through it. This is what I can say. Now I am going uh, to back page and I will show you other you know other modules inside this. So after going through this learning management system and I must say that you must go for other modules also like concept of e-learning and learning management system I already shown you mobile learning. Now after that I'll show you that there are other you know uh, other like this open education resources you may, you are not able to see it but I am able to see it now I am opening it open education resources this is the module so through this you will know about open education resources this is very important for you to know because through this you will understand what is the meaning of uh, open education resources because through this you will able to find uh, learning content or e-content for your students so it's very good for you and then here you can go through this self-learning video so again I, I go back to this uh, portal and now this is a communication technology in education course and there are so many courses here look at it now after presenting your uh, you know content as I told you that this uh, you will first you will you know make ready your learning content after making your learning content you have to uh, you know communicate with them you, with the students now after communication what will you do you will access their you know knowledge after assessing their knowledge you will know that whether they will understood or not so how to how to take their test so e-assessment is the way so now this is the e-assessment here the course for e-assessment it has 43 modules so through this you will find how to to make an assessment of your students how to create e-test e-assessment e-assignments so it has theoretical as well as practical courses so some of them are here the the test construction for e-assessment you are not able to see but i am going uh, hear me i am going to speak them one by one google google forms is there so module for google forms you can go through it and you will learn how to use it as a e-assessment tool then google docs is also there so you can use this tool as an e-assessment tool then google slides kahoot is the best you know uh, e-assessment tool through this uh, you can use this tool as a gaming device that hot potato quizlet and so on so you'll find many many uh, tools through which you can access now I will show you quizlet here now you will be able to see the quizlet so here they provided cell learning material the video only uh, I didn't uh, I didn't see here the content you will not be able to see it also so if I click here you'll find uh, this video here and this is made by one of the university teachers for UGC In books. this video, we are going to see the web tool quiz. By using, we can create quizzes. As we seen in the Kahoot, this particular site is to join the games by using pin numbers generated by the teacher or generated for the particular test so this is this we can enter only if we have pin number okay see so to uh, create new quiz we have to log in first see so i'm logging you, you in you see that it is very useful by i way. must tell you that you go through it then after that i will give one assignment on this tool Next is EPG Parshala. This uh, platform is very good for PG courses. It contains 70 PG courses and these are interactive content based on high quality curriculum. 
Now these uh, modules are really effective for them. So EPG Parshala is a really good initiative for the students. Next is Consortium for Educational Communication, CEC. This is very old venture and it is very good and effective because uh, it uses TV as a medium of instruction and through TV lectures they, they provide good quality material for higher education through this link. They are having YouTube channel also. Now these, this uh, consortium for educational communication, you know, they, they, they give offers and, you know, to the university teachers and through the proposals, they make e-learning content. They make MOOCs for them. So it's a good opportunity for all university teachers. Now this FOSE is, uh, is a, you know, platform where free, liberal and open source software is is available for students, science students, IT students. So they get, they do their projects with free software. So free software is available there. Then Swamprabha is a TV, uh, sorry, DTS channel. It has 32 channels and through your cable, uh, you know, provider, you can go and you can get it. The National Digital Library uh, of India, it contains plenty of material. So if you go to the link, you'll find a lot of material. It is connected to all major, you know, platforms. Then Shod Ganga and Shod Gangotri is good for research in higher education. Now the PhD platform is Shod Ganga. It is mandatory for all these research candidates from university to deposit their research uh, digitally to their universities. And through universities, it is, uh, you know, uploaded in Shod Ganga. Similarly, Shod Gangotri is a platform for synopsis and research proposals for PhD students. They submit these uh, through the university to show the Gango 3. Now these two are mapped when one research scholar submits his research proposal in show the Gango 3. After completing his research, he again submits the research in show the Ganga. So these are these could be mapped easily. Next is show the Sindhu. E show Sindhu is a platform where e journals uh, and e journal archives are found and ebooks for higher education. Next is Shod Shuddhi is very good initiative by the government and this is really very good. Why? Because you no know, quality of research is, is, is really needed. So this uh, anti-plagiarism, anti-plagiarism, you know, detection software is, is there and all the universities are connected with them. They got their password and login ID and they log in and they, they check the plagiarism in their research work. So the next is e Kosh. Uh, it's a national digital, digital repository for open and distance learning institutions uh, with the collaboration of IGNU. They, they provide learning material, self-learning materials for the students. Then Gyanwani is a FM radio and Gyandhara is web radio. So through audio, these students listen and they communicate with tele, TV, sorry, telephone. Next is Gyan Darshan, is a TV channel devoted to education and development needs of open and distance learners. Then Virtual Labs is a good way for science students to conduct their experiments from remote operations. And there are 275 labs and 2,200 experiments. So it, it benefited 18 lakh students. So next is eYantra, which provides hands-on experience on embedded systems. So now this is a new generation technology. So they want to create engineers of next generation. So robotics and embedded technology, they are taught through 380 labs and made 2,300 college benefited. ePartshala is very good initiative for school, you know, teachers, students, and teacher educators, parents. It's a platform for all of them. Teachers can, uh, you know, uh, can give these e partiala portal their resources. They can create e content for them. So you can download all the books from here, from class first to eighth. Then with one is an expert database for national research. So uh, scientists and as teachers with high caliber will they, their profile will be found here. Then I want to tell you that this Sakshat portal is really very good portal. This uh, portal, you know, is connected with all the, 
uh, portals and information. So this uh, this initiative, the purpose of this initiative is is to give and uh, provide information to learners about the new initiatives and programs conducted by the government. So now you can see that swam forces starting from June 23. So you are getting information here and there everywhere. Now this this is the category of projects run by the government for a school. This is the category for undergraduates. This is the category for postgraduates, and this is for other platforms. So one platform is there, Diksha. It's very good platform for CBC school students. Uh, the students of CBC are having books, and the uh, all books are having QR code. So through QR codes you can access. So this Diksha platform has two, uh, you know, uh, applications. One is for Android mobile phone and the other for laptops so mobile phone you can scan that material from the book and you can get it easily for this uh, laptop I'll show it here that if you explore it you will find that library is there and one training training for teachers training also the courses are there so library it contains uh, the teaching learning material for classes 1 to 12th it's very effective way of you know to from the teachers learn from it now suppose I enter I know one code for I want to search a material for class first a student so I have to enter the code here 0117 and chapter 22 so it's a poem Hati Chellam Chell if suppose I want to uh, want now the audio will appear now listen this beautiful poem and really you have to enjoy this poem now listen it carefully and you will really Baad enjoy. Baad ka shirshak hai Haathi Challam Challam Bacchu Patter Patter Lambe Lambe Daat Khata Kat Khatter Khatter Lambe Lambe Daat Khata Kat Khatter Khatter Bhari bhari moon matakta jammam jammam Parvat jaisi deh thul thuli thallal thallal Parvat jaisi deh thul thuli thallal So listen this, this song you know the children will really enjoy this song so I must tell you that you go uh, through this portal to enjoy more you know such materials and it is mandatory for the parents you know to make them their children to go for it so if you are not going for it if your children are not seeing it then they are missing something so I hope that you will do it with your children or if students so the next is uh, next, uh, uh, I will uh, yes. Next, next, I will uh, you, you know I will tell you about uh, the communication uh, communication. Uh, I will tell you about communication. You know portals or applications which can be used by you to deliver your material. So now this as I told you that up to this point I told you that how to uh, search open educational material so or resources so you you are ready for delivering your lecture through your you know some communicative apps so the simple way is like you daily send messages to your friends your family video you share videos and other things similarly you can use telegram to share your material with them so whatsapp and telegram you can use with your students and similarly they will send the feedback through these two medium but if you want to go online you want to become very smart and you want to show your t students that you are live and the others the students will also be uh, you know watching you like they watch in the class so you can go for Google Hangouts and Zoom so these are good and there are other apps which are helpful for video conferencing like uh, so it's up to you now if you want to go live you can use Facebook live or YouTube live so these are the methods so through this you know these tools you can communicate with your uh, students or you can 
you know transfer your material to them so this is known as delivery of your lecture after delivery you can get assignments you can give them assignments and so you can take them back now now i'm taking talking about learning management system this learning management system is a one uh, you know system in which everything is there like a school so moodle is one of the good uh, learning platforms and right now i am not saying that you should go for it but uh, after getting familiarity with these uh, other apps and the other methods then after that you should go for the moodle moodle the platform like moodle are very good because you don't have to come out of the moodle everything is there from the content or uh, content or delivery of the content or the assignment test everything is here so how you will do it so so uh, as a teacher you can become administrator in this moodle and you can put your course inside it upload the courses and make the a schedule and after that you know give the login id for the students also they will log in and then they will go through the courses and they will do the assignments and slowly slowly they will complete the whole course and you will take their test also if this model is used by the school then the school also can become administrator and they can you know create you know spaces for teachers so teacher one teacher two they will be there and these teachers will be given login id similarly these teachers will give login id to these students so they will log in and then they will watch their courses videos and everything so it is a learning management platform where everything is at at one point you don't have to look outside so similarly google classes haiku learning schoology edmodo and there are many such learning management systems so i must say that go for the moodle it's really free now i hope that you might found my presentation helpful for you and now you will start your classes hopefully now thank you very much for your kind attention and i hope that you will definitely give me the feedback in my email id and you may watch more videos through my youtube channel thank you very much